Christine Perry is suing Kurt Sullivan in the amount of $10,000 for harassment. Ms. Perry says the defendant harassed her and forced her to move out of the community. All right, Ms. Perry, you're suing Mr. Sullivan for $10,000 for harassment in a hostile environment? Yes, Your Honor, I am. Okay, and um, what's your relationship with her? I am the president of the association for our urban, Bear Urban uh, condominiums. Okay, so ma'am, you own a condominium there? Uh, no, ma'am. I, Your Honor, I'm, I'm renting or was renting uh, a condominium at the Bear Utopia condominiums. Okay, and why is it that you're suing for a hostile work environment? Well, Your Honor, I am legally blind. Um, ten years ago, I was diagnosed with glaucoma, and I can see somewhat. I just can see, like, shadows and big images and right. uh, whatnot. But I, I'm asking for damages for... Uh, first of all, I'm just so happy to have my day in court, Your Honor, because um, I'm, I'm asking for these because Mr. Sullivan has written me a letter, and warning letter, saying that my seeing eye dog is in violation of um, the rules about the dog being more than 25 pounds. What's your position about that? Well, our position was when she first applied and, and told us about her, her disability, okay. we were very open uh, well, you know, under the ADA rules, you cannot much. limit the weight of the dog if it is a seeing eye dog. You know that. No, ma'am. And there's really only two questions that you can ask about a, a service dog. And, Your Honor, if I, if I may um, also add that my application was submitted, accepted right away. I, I had no idea that my beloved dog, Romeo, was not being accepted. When she first applied to, was she, to live there, did you tell her she could bring her dog? Yes, we made that accommodation, okay. Your Honor. We under, made that accommodation. Okay, so under the a ABA rules, mm -hmm. I'm sorry, under the ADA rules, the questions are, is the dog a service animal required because of a disability? Yes. And two, what work or task has the dog been trained to perform? That's it. He could weigh 200 pounds if he's a service dog. But yes. I'm understanding that you allowed her to come into this condo association with the dog. We did. We okay. did. But there are other issues that came up, and that's why I sent the, war the first warning letter was to let her know the problems that we were having. Um, her dog is 25 pounds. Our limit is 15, but based on the ADA ruling, okay. we allowed her to be there okay. and with her dog. So and what, what happened with the dog? Well... Romeo uh, would go around the neighborhood and do his business, uh, and there were times that it was left. They were Honor, not picked up. Your Honor, forgive me, but as you know, uh, seeing eye dogs are highly trained, highly skilled. Well, was he leashed, ma'am? Because it, also, it, under the ADA rules, a dog is supposed to be tethered right. and leashed at all times. And, Your Honor, that's was stated he? here. I'm asking the plaintiff, was he at all times tethered and on a leash? Yes or no? I, I, there are probably a couple of times that he might have been off leash. Okay, so he was off leash sometimes. Very well. What rare. were you going to tell me about that? I was going to say we do have that information in our uh, policies and procedures. No, but was this particular dog off leash? Uh, I did not make that observation. Okay, I have so not, what but were we the do problem, have witnesses. What were the problems that the dog caused? Well, the dog had been. We are new to. Place the You're dog. A place. We our condos are for uh, it's a nudity na naturalist community, in which we uh, wear no clothing. That's well, Miss Perry. What was your interest in this place? Well, Your Honor, I'm actually um, a professional violinist for years, and right. to be quite honest, I'm a, I'm definitely a people person, and I I in the last few years kind of experimented in in living in nudist. Uh, resorts, and I finally committed to this one because right. I, I felt it was just very accepting. Because you wanted to be in the nude. Because you wanted to be able to walk around in the nude. Well, <laughs> well it certainly wasn't because you wanted to see folks in the nude. <laughs> so I'm assuming you... This was because you yourself wanted to express your individuality and freedom by... You know what, Your Honor, honestly, it's just because I, I really 
I don't know, I, I'm all about what's on the inside, truly, and, and integrity and character, and I just, I don't know, I, I having been diagnosed with glaucoma 10 right. years ago and... Right. Well, my mother's been di diagnosed with glaucoma, and she's probably legally blind. She doesn't want to say that, but I never heard her say she wanted to join a nudist colony. <laughs> Coming up on Supreme Justice... You didn't put her out. No. You didn't throw no, Romeo out said either. A, a no, yeah. indeed. So indeed. why are we here, ma'am? Because I'm felt completely harassed. And later... Why didn't you take the $13,600? Because I need to get all this squared away before $600 I do it. $600 here, $13,000 here. You don't need a judge to tell you what makes sense. Closed captioning provided by... ...of Justine Perry, who is suing Kurt Sullivan for harassment. So who, what are these witnesses going to tell me? Well, my witness is going to tell me he's the next door neighbor okay. to Miss Perry, and uh, he is has... he the person that saw the dog yes. off leash, yes. maybe? He, or... Yes, yes. Okay, and who's also... that person? I, I, I don't, I don't know if this is true, Your Honor. I mean, well, I'm going to hear, I'm well, going to hear from this person. My What's his name? Buster Gold. Court calls Buster Gold. Come forward and be sworn. Raise your right hand. Do you swear or affirm the testimony you're about to give will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God? I do. So, Mr. Gold, you live, too, at this nudist condominium? Yes. Tell me about a nudist condominium. I understand a nudist resort. We all kind of lie out on the beach and around the pool naked, but what, what do you get out of a nudist condominium? I just like how everybody is, like, just really free. Okay, so what do you know about... What's your dog's name, ma'am? Romeo. What do you know about Romeo? She lets she always leaves him off the leash. She's always running around, pooping everywhere. Oh, right. That is so where have you seen true. him? Where, where have you seen stuff. him doing that? All over the all over the community. He's always just running around. She just lets him loose, running around, um, pooping in people's yards. Have you seen him yard. off leash on more than one occasion? Yes. She never has him on a leash. Only Mr. she owns Gold, a leash. Do you even so own a leash? Don't don't ma'am, please don't, don't interrupt. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, she just leaves him out. So why are we here then? What do you? What's the ten thousand dollars for? Well, for me, Your Honor, it's not about retribution. It's about that I've just, I don't know, I'm just so upset to be the thought of someone taking my dog away from me. They're, they're, what, you know, what, was, what was in the letter? What did you ask of her? I asked her to make sure that she was following the regulations, the procedures that we okay. set forth in, in this document. Right, you didn't put her out. No. You didn't throw no, Romeo out said either. A, a no, indeed. So indeed. why are we here, ma'am? Because I'm felt completely harassed. I would walk out of my condo and step into large poop where I, I feel people were putting poop on my Your doorstep. Own dog's poop. Are we sure Romeo didn't do it? Yes, ma'am. I well, am very sure. Well, how do we sure. know it wasn't Romeo? Because I know poop. my dog. I, I, he's, he's an amazing dog. Okay, well... And, Your Honor, I have evidence, and I have his picture, and I... Let me see what evidence you have here. Okay, so there's Romeo on his leash. Cute dog. Thank you. Where is the letter that was sent? I, I, I thought I had... Um... Confirmation, confirmation of legal blindness. Ah, violation notice. Yes, ma'am. Now, in what you sent her, you say no pets larger than 15 pounds are allowed. However, I don't believe that a service dog is considered a pet. That is the way I feel. But it, what it does say is that no animals allowed from 5 p.m. Friday to 5 p.m. Sunday in public areas and that they must be leashed at all times and supervised at all times and pick up after your pets. What's unreasonable about any of that? Uh, absolutely nothing unreasonable, and I'm very conscientious about right. my animal. Okay, and but the, ma the reality is, ma'am, you know, and I have sympathy for your situation, but the reality is... Under the ADA rules, you are supposed to have your dog on a leash at all times. And if you don't do that, then this condominium, associ condominium association has the right to put you out. I understand, Your Honor, but I... I, I don't think you've shown me where you've been harassed, though. I don't, I don't see the harassment. You have any witnesses? I don't. Anybody going to tell me that they saw somebody, like one of these two guys, putting poop in front of your dog? I can't Romeo say that. Romeo might have left that poop in front of you, though. You don't know because you couldn't see. I don't think that you have made a compelling case for harassment, so unfortunately, I'm going to have to dismiss your claim. 
All right? Judgment for the defendants. Good luck to all of you. Judge Karen has ruled in favor of the defendant. The plaintiff's claim is denied. My dog is well trained, and you know it. Your dog needs more training.